hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i am going to be doing a quick weave on my bald head so ever since my last video my hair started thinning like on the exact same spots as last time like these areas here so i had hair around the perimeter and the mirror here was just thinning and eventually it started like balding and i was just over it so three days ago i took my clippers and i just shaved everything off and hopefully next time when it grows it will survive we'll see but today i'm going to be doing a quick weave because i tried like all my wigs they're just so big i just wanted something simple like a simple bob that kind of looks a little bit natural and for my hair today i just ripped one of my wigs that i had and it was a little bit longer than what i'm going for today and this is going to be my first time trying to do a quick weave with a closure so hopefully this will work well and i am using the old school um bonding glue with glue so first i'm going to go ahead and apply the glue around the closure and i did tie it down here just so that the hair doesn't get caught on the glue and i'm gonna go ahead and place it carefully And I've seen like some um, people, they do use like ghost bond in the beginning. Last time I used ghost bond, I had a bad reaction to it. Um, and ever since then, I try to stay away from it. So to melt the front here, I will use like go to be spray or like a melting spray. So I grabbed my hair dryer. I'm just going to dry this quickly. So now the closure is fully secured, like it's not moving at all. So now I'm going to go ahead and start applying the tracks from the back going towards the top. So I just put it on and hold it for like a few seconds and then go ahead and press it on a little bit and then grab my dryer and just So I'm about like halfway done and I can actually <laughs> brush this hair. Actually, I'm actually liking it like even like just this messy and this is how it's looking at the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue. And I forgot to trim this one before applying the glue. So I'm going to have to cut it after it's dry. But I want to make sure that it's up to where I want to be.
and now that i'm getting closer to the closure i'm actually kind of like curving them towards the closure so that when the wind blows it doesn't really show the tracks So I am back, my camera died. Um, I finished that last track and I was just busy straightening my hair while it was charging. But now I am back and I'm almost done straightening. I haven't put any product on this hair since I washed it, but um, since it is processed, it's a little bit dry, especially like this top parts here, but I will add some product after cutting. I'm just trying to get it straight so I can get a nice cut. Lay this flat first before cutting. I already have my got to be spray. This is what I'm going to be using. Like I said, I don't want to use the ghost bond anymore. Um, I did have like some rashes from it. So I'm trying to stay away from the glue. So first I'm just combing this hair back so I can spray it's it's pointing up I haven't done this in years I don't really know if my plan is gonna work I'm just going to press it down with my comb here. And I'm taking my hair dryer to speed up. So I'm going to grab like an elastic and just tie this down. So I am back now after the melting process. So the gut to be for me didn't really work well. I end up using oh, what is it? I end up using this. It's called Inu Melting Spray. I don't know where I got this from. Probably came with some PR. Um, but it worked really, really well compared to the gut to be. So I'm just brushing it out a little bit. So I'm not really looking for anything like specific. I just want like a straight bob. I don't know. I just want this to be straight and obviously to match the other side. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut. These are not even hair scissors. My hair scissors are so dull. So I'm just going to go to the bathroom so I can cut the back with the big mirror and I'll be back. So this is how my hair is looking after the cut. I love the movement and also like this hair is amazing. Like it's so bouncy. I love that. So as for my cut, I just did like the simple bob. This is how it's looking from the back. Might not be perfect, but it's fine for me. I'm going to go ahead and try make this part look nicer. But it is very secured like none of this are moving for the flyaways i'm just going to add a little bit of the serum this is a heat protective serum by afri true actually just like two pumps of this and i'm going to apply it mostly on top to get rid of this flyaways and also like the ends here because this hair is a little bit dry I'm just going to rub the rest in the middle. 
absolutely happy with this compared to just walking around with a bald head i don't feel any weight it's very very light and like i said i took this from a wig and this was not even the full wig i still have a lot of pieces in front of me and i didn't really unwrap the whole wig i just hope it will last longer because i do run like six days a week i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on my next one bye